What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have some brand new reveals. The Prismatic God Box. Now, I don't know when this is coming out. This just dropped on the organization's website. And we're going to talk about these three Egyptian God support cards. Hopefully, we're going to be getting more. I mean, it's called the Prismatic God Box. I want to talk about this Thousand Eyes Idol card to begin with. But someone at Konami must have seen my video about saying we need more Egyptian God card support because... They are on the right track with this support. They're giving support to all of the Egyptian gods, and they're not just focusing on Ra. And they're doing it in a similar fashion with the Sacred Beast, naming cards after the monsters' attacks from the anime, which is really, really freaking cool. I'm super, super hyped about this. So let's start off with a new Thousand Eyes Restrict support card. This is called Golden Idol. It's actually pretty solid. It's a level 1 with 0 attack and defense. Uh, you can only use the second effect once per turn. Its first effect is once per turn quick effect. You can look at your opponent's hand. Also, this card's name becomes Thousand Eyes Idol until the end phase. Second effect, if this card is banished or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, equip it to one of your relinquished monsters or eyes restrict monsters that cannot be normal summoned or set. While that monster is equipped by this effect, the monster it is equipped to gains attack equal to the equipped monster. So, right off the bat, this thing allows you to look at the opponent's hand as a quick effect, which is really good. Uh, and then its name becomes Thousand Eyes Idol until the end phase. So you can use the Thousand Eyes Restrict Fusion spell to fuse this with Relinquished or, you know, like a Fusion Substitute card. Um, substitution monster, I should say, in order to create Thousand Eyes Restrict. You're probably not going to be doing that majority of the time in the deck. I don't know. I'm not a Thousand Eyes Restrict slash Relinquish player, but I still feel like this card's really good, if anything, to at least see what your opponent's hand is to gain that knowledge. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the big boys in the room here. We have three Egyptian God support cards. They're all quick play spells, and I think that this third one is the most busted. So let's start off with Slife for the Sky Dragon. Its Japanese name is Chao Denduha Thunder Force, otherwise known as Superconducting Wave Thunder Force, or in the anime known as Thunder Force Attack. It's a quick play spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated. And uh, other than exchanging souls, so uh, the obelisk and the sliver here each share that uh, clause. So you, um, if you control a monster whose original name is Slife of the Sky Dragon, so no Phantom of Chaos shit, uh, destroy as many face-up monsters your opponent currently controls as possible. Then if this card was activated during your main phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed and sent to your opponent's graveyard by this effect, but you can only attack with one monster this turn. So I will admit, I think that this is the worst card out of the three, just because of the fact that you know, if the opponent has an established board of five, six, or possibly even seven monsters if they extra linked you out of the game, then yeah, in theory, you get to draw seven cards and pop seven monsters, but if they already have an established board, like unless you Dark Ruler know more than first, you're kind of losing the game, and plus two, with the third card that we're going to talk about here, um, you're not going to be drawing that many cards if you bring out Slifer with this third spell, so, but we'll get there. The next card we have is God Hand Crusher, otherwise known as Fist of Fate, or also sometimes called Fist of Fury, whatever you want to call it. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. The effect's activation effect can't be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Obelisk, again, no fan of chaos, negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls, and if you do destroy it, and if you do that, for the rest of this turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects and effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. Then if this card is activated during your main phase, you get to pop all your opponent's spells and traps. So it's a Harpy's Feather Duster. So, number one, this thing does not target. This thing takes a shit on Red Eyes Dragoon. Uh, it takes a shit on anything that doesn't want to be targeted or that can't be targeted. Um, and if they have multiple copies of that card on the field, it essentially forbidden droplets those monsters. Now, again, if they have negates set up, they can't really deal with that on this, um, which I should mention that as well with the Slifer card here. It can't be negated. At the same time, I mean, if the opponent's able to have a comeback from that, or if you're using this card here, exchanging souls to summon them, then you're not going to be drawing as many cards. But 
regardless, I, I still feel that it's just sort of the worst out of the three. Just because Slifer's always sort of been seen as the worst of the three, whereas Obelisk has always been seen like the best. So, yeah, this is like, in order from worst to best, it's this, this, and then this. This is a Monarch Storm Forth. It is called Exchanging Souls. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. During the main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, Tribute Summon one Divine Beast monster. When you do, you can also tribute monsters your opponent controls as if you controlled them, but you can only activate one card or effect other than Divine Beast Monsters effects per turn until the end of the next turn. So, holy fucking banana balls, ladies and gentlemen. We, we, we need to drink some water to that. So let, let's break this down here. Let's break it down like a rapper, shall we? So it's only during the main phase, which is fine. We don't give a fuck about that. Because if we're using this correctly, if we win the dice roll and go first, if we open with this, I'm assuming that since it's called the Prismatic God Box, that they're going to give more support to the gods. Um, and we can hopefully see a searcher for these three cards, I hope to God, because if this shit is searchable, it is so damn good, but typically you're going to set it, you're going to let the opponent get out three monsters, uh, or even two if you have one on the board yourself, uh, you're going to then activate Exchanging Souls, you're going to tribute all three monsters for even, say, something like Slifer, which then becomes a King Tiger Wang Hu, in theory. Because remember, with Slifer, any monster summoned, normal or special summon, or I think even flip summon, Slifer immediately reduces their attack down by 2,000, and if it hits zero because of the effect, it's destroyed. And a lot of decks right now really can't pump out a lot of powerful monsters, and if you think about it, even a good deck, or I should say the top deck right now, uh, possibly, Dragon Link relies on climbing up from weaker monsters and using Using those weaker monsters to make big plays so if you're able to go first and pop off with this not only are you possibly spear mowing your opponent on their turn but then you're also dropping something like a slifer which is just going to blow up any monster that they summon um or you're going to bring out raw on your turn so that they have to deal with a big beat stick or you're going to bring out obelisk and then you're going to activate the quick play spell during their turn to pop their monster, and then pop their back row, because, I mean, remember, all of these are quick plays. <laughs> so you can do some shenanigans. So just these three cards alone is, I think, really on the right track here for Egyptian god support. I mean, just look at this art. Look at that. Like, Obelisk is beating the shit out of somebody, or he's about to. Um, the artwork on Slifer... I mean, that's just freaking awesome. Slifer's always been my favorite. Um, and the Winged Dragon of Raw has always been dope, too. Uh, we see here, I think that this is Boganian. Uh, I think that this is, uh, I don't even remember, but these are like two cards from the original Dual Monsters. Um, I think this was like a monster that gained attack points off equip spells or something. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If Konami gives us a searcher for these cards then we have a very very good support cast on our hands here because if, if these aren't searchable we're fucked because then you're gonna have to hard draw these things and these are probably going to be the best couple of cards in your deck depending on which egyptian god cards you're playing now one last thing i want to talk about it's called the prismatic god box right what if we finally get the creator god of light, Heracity, in this prismatic god box. Will they finally bring the fourth divine beast over into the TCG? For those of you who don't know uh, what Heracity is, it is the Egyptian god monster that you tribute all three originally named Egyptian gods to summon it, the summon can't be negated, and you automatically win the duel. It's another win condition, um, or instant win condition. Uh, and so, uh, you guys, the Prismatic God Box, you know, like, this is some Half-Life 3 confirmed type of shit. <laughs> like, I think we could really see a lot of Egyptian God support in this set, along with Searchers and Konami. Give us fucking Harakity. 
OCG's had it for years. We TCG players want it. It is an awesome card, even if it's not going to be competitive. Just to have the support would be so freaking cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.